Uh, this came about when we looked and celebrated at the original GT and we noticed that everyone is still so fascinated about this original vehicle. So we've been asked, uh, why don't you just uh, reinvent that car? It's uh, something that is really typical for Opel. It's an icon, why don't you do it? And of course we wanted to do it, but it's always difficult to touch an icon because you can sometimes also upset many people. Anyways, we took on the challenge, but we, what we wanted to do as Opel, since we are never doing retro cars, we want to do something that is really modern and fits in 2016. Just like the original GT fit in, 2000, in 1965, we wanted this car to represent 2016 with all the connectivity and its modern technology inside. But we wanted also to take the essence of the original by staying really pure and authentic, minimalist and small and responsible. I think the first thing that you notice when you approach the car is, wow, it's really small. So um, we started out with a design and an idea and started to think, let's leave this away or let's leave this away. We don't need this and we don't need this. It was a real challenge to do this. But I think the result speaks for itself. Now you see the car and it lives purely on its proportion. People now have enough of too much decoration and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They want to go back to something that is responsible and still unique though. You know, there's, there is a trend of, of course, and today everyone wants his, wants his personal car. Everyone wants a car that is tailored to their needs. And I think this, this car in a way does it too, but it doesn't do it so much on the exterior. It does it much more with the interior and the interior and the HMI, the way you operate the car. The HMI is, a, is, is also key to this personalization because we believe personalization will ha not happen with hardware in the future, it will happen with software. So you personalize your car with what you upload and how you treat it. So we think that this self-learning system is almost like a best friend, like a co-driver that knows you very well and it's learning what you prefer and it can offer you his help when you need it or you also can just keep quiet. So we think the personalization becomes goes to the next level by not using hardware, different colors or items, but uh, having a software that is intelligent and knows you.